Hey there, it's Monkey. I wanted to do a quick video talking about portal systems. Now, when you're playing this game, you're probably already familiar with you put a portal down and put a second portal down. They both have the same name or no name and they connect up. That's one portal connection. If you create another portal with the same name or, or no name, it, it won't activate because you already have two portals establishing one connection and that third portal can't join that. It needs to have its own separate name. So you have to create a second portal to connect to that with the same name. Let's say those two are both called A and now they'll connect up. Uh, as you play through the game, you're going to continue to add more sets of connected portals or need more sets of connected portals, A, B, C, etc. You may have 15 or more different locations that you want to travel on your map. And, and this is what is called a portal system. Now, if you have an individual connection for each one of these pairs of portals, you're going to wind up with 30 or so individual portals to make those 15 connected pairs. That's a common way of building out a portal system. People will create a room, set aside a chunk of land, however they do it, and set up 15 or so portals at their base, and then those will go to 15 or more locations around the, the map. But the portal system that I like to use eliminates almost half of the mats required to establish these portals and once and uses a lot less space. Once you kind of understand it, it, it intuitively makes a lot of sense. I've got on this wall behind me, kind of like you would have signs for your portals, but it's just a wall with all of the locations that my portals can hook up to out in the world that I've mapped out so far. I've got Boss Henge, that's where you hang the boss stones. I've got Halder, that's the merchant. If you, if I pull up my map, I've got those locations mapped out. You know, I've got Boss Henge over here, marked as a portal. I've got Halder over here. As I start going out to the land to set up my portal system, I will put down uh, a portal at that location, give it its own unique name, put it on the map, and then back here I will have my signs marked. Now as far as a portal room goes, I only have three portals. That's my no-name portal over there. And these two portals are the portals that I will rename uh, for whatever content I happen to be doing. Let's say I want to go to where, where Motor is right now. I'll just change the name of this tag to Motor. I'll step away from it because once a portal is activated, that connection is is real. It's, it, you know, it's open. You have to step away from it to change it to, uh, to whatever portal name you've made the swap to. But now this will be named Mo Motor. I can step on through and I'll be up at my Motor portal site. So here I am. I'm like prepping for this boss fight that I've, I'm going to be doing. And, um, and I can go and say, yeah, here I am at the, at the stones. Now, what, I, what I'm actually going to be doing here as well is I'm going to be setting up a backup portal because I like to do that sometimes uh, in case I die or that front that close portal gets wrecked. I like to have a second portal for doing a boss for the first time. So in this little site right here, I'm just going to set up a, a second portal. Let's put it right against this wall here. Now, by default, because I have a no name portal back at my base, right? This is just gonna activate with no name. I could go back to my base and stuff like that. But like I said, I wanna have that portal back at my base always unnamed so I can do this very thing, establish a connection and jump through if I need to, if I get in any sort of a fight. Uh, so if I had been out traveling and things got hectic, I would drop a portal down with no name. I could jump back through it, heal or whatever. It's generally my exploration, my scouting portal. Um, in this case, let's say I wanna rename Hold on. Okay. So I want this one to be my motor backup portal. So I'll just call it motor B. Once I click okay on this, the portal quite possibly will shut down. Okay, so for example, I do that. It's notice it's still active because I'm standing in front of it. 
after a moment, it's going it, to, it, there we go. Now that it's shut down, obviously it won't work because I don't have a motor B back in my base. So if I wanted to do this, if I wanted to get back to my base, but leave this portal with its new name, what I'll do is I'll get rid of that name, wait for it to connect up again. Well, what I usually do, normally I don't, I don't delay like that, but I would put in the new name, motor B, hit OK, and then step on through. Now that portal back there has its new name. It's, it's motor site B. But I'm back at my base once this thing completes the transit. And obviously this one's not connected anymore. I can go out, I can drop unnamed, an un unnamed portal out in the world again and reconnect it up. And if I come over here and change Halder to motor B, you can see by these, see by the dark tags, this portal is unconnected. With the yellow tags, that means it has a connection, a, vi a valid connection. So now that I have a motor portal and a motor B portal, I'll be able to use both of those for the upcoming fight that I have. When that's done, uh, I will probably decommission one of the portals that are back over there. But I will always keep that main portal set up so that I can get back there when I need to. And to that point, whether you're playing Epic Loot or not, part of the reason for seeding these portals around the map are twofold, threefold if you're playing with Epic Loot. One, they put you closer to uh, a potential death point. The other reason for doing it is access to resources. You know, because I've seeded these portals along the way in my search for motor, now I have all these islands that are, you know, have planes materials that I could potentially pop back to and look for the next boss, farm materials out of, farm the totems that I need to summon, uh, to summon the planes boss. And additionally for epic loot, as I go back to Halder and get more bounties, these areas will again repopulate with potential bounties and that I can easily get to for coins and bounty tokens. So for my purpose of playing this game, whether I have epic loot or not, I like using this portal system because already I have 15 portals set up. By the time this game, this playthrough is over, by the time I've found the queen and stuff like that, I may have 20 or 25. I have gone around and looted lots of burial chambers. I have set up certain core farms. I've talked about that in another video by basically cutting the amount of mats that I need for my portals in half. That allows me to get twice as many portals out in the world, minus three for the ones I have at home. Now, if you have a, a party of two players, three portals is still pretty good. You can, you can, uh, you can still sort of go off and explore separately even and three portals is usually enough to, to maintain it. You have like sort of the common unnamed portal that's there. And then maybe each of you have your own scouting or bounty or exploration portal kind of going at the time. Um, and then, you know, there may be a situation where you temporarily want to set up a fourth portal. Or if you're doing a boss fight, then you both are converging together to fight it. You switch over to using two portals for the boss fight and, and then back to business as usual. Maybe if you had a larger team of people playing, you would want to, you know, have a, a slightly more extensive internal portal network. But you will still save on a lot of space by consolidating your portals down if you are doing a solo to small group play and just using a naming board to mark out the locations of the portals on your map. Um, and, and one quick note on that too is you'll want to use a cartography table if you have friends that you're playing with to share your maps with each other so that if somebody is going out and setting up portals, other people can copy their map details down and get all of those portals copied onto their map. It's a sweet way to share information with each other. That's it for this video. I hope this was helpful to you. Do me a favor and help me out by tapping that like button. Maybe touch the monkey in the corner and subscribe if you haven't yet for any more videos that are coming out uh, or to check out my upcoming motor fight, which will be popping up shortly.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.